I'm Danny from Next Gen Wellness. We specialise in helping people get free of their chronic stress and pain. This is my daily routine, which helps me to feel better, think better and move better. It improves my brain function, my immune system and my mental health. So we're going to start with grounding. We're tapping firmly on the eye socket. And as we tap, we are activating acupressure points, which enables us to ground. It's important to breathe deeply through the nose and then out through the mouth, all the way through this process, in through the nose, down to the belly, and out through the mouth. Our next point is our K27. It is just below the collarbone here. And we tap quite firmly. This point is great for activating physical energy. The next acupressure point is our thymus. It's here between the breasts. Our thymus is a really important gland that produces T cells. It boots our immune system. So it's really important to tap this acupressure point quite hard to activate the thymus to boost your immunity. The next point here is in our rib cage, ladies. It's in the bra line here. Now you can tap hard with your knuckles, your ends of your fingers, or you can rub with your thumbs or your knuckles. Find a spot that is a little bit tender. This spot here is where we store toxic energy. So the tenderness is an indication of a bubble of energy that needs to be broken up. So do press hard. It's not supposed to be comfortable. And just either tap or rub this area for about 30 seconds. It gets that spleen meridian running, which enables us to metabolize food and emotional and physical toxins and stress. Now, the techniques I'm about to show you are energy flow techniques. They help get our left and right parts of our body flowing so our creative and logical brains communicate and connect. And it helps us move energy efficiently through the body. So the first one is the cross over the shoulder. We grab, we pull down the cross, get to hip and flick. We do this four or five times. Getting the energy, crossing over. The next one is we are uh, doing the march. The knee comes up, we tap, tap. Tap four, five, six times. Let the flow happen. The next one is a Wayne Cook posture. So what we do is we cross our hands over at the front, turn our wrists in so our hands are facing each other, link the hands together, and then what we do is we pull down to our belly and then bring our linked hands up under our cheek. And then with our feet, we cross our feet over, so they're all crossed up. And we imagine a string going through our body, up our spine, pulling ourselves up. So as we breathe up, our whole body gets pulled up in our imagination. And flop. Breathe up. And out through the mouth. And flop. Maybe two or three times, or more if you have capacity. When we unwind and we pull out and we swap over, and the other leg comes across, down, around, and bring up. That's right. So our next move is to activate the third eye. Thumbs together between your eyebrows, pressing in hard, drawing the fingers and breathing in. One more. Breathing deep down into the belly. Bring your fingers together in the centre of your forehead 
and drag out to your temples and press and breathe in deep down. This is excellent for releasing distress. So anytime you feel a little overwhelmed, two or three big deep breaths holding your temples will really help calm you. And then put in applying pressure down behind the ear on both sides, down the neck. And then grab those tight muscles at either side of your neck and breathe in. Mm. Saying an R sound also is good for stimulating the vagus nerve, which releases even more tension. And that's a kidney meridian flush. Back to the middle of your forehead. We're going to open up our minds for new ideas. So it's called a crown pull. So we pull across. We work all the way down across the top of our brain, down the back of our head, across, pulling apart from our spine and our neck, pulling across and out, about three centimetres either side. And then again, pressing on those tense areas in our shoulder muscles, shake it out and release. Good stuff. So now we rub our hands together, creating some energy. Stretch up. Stretching is really good for evoking relaxation and calming the nervous system. So high as you can, reaching up high, up on your toes and nice long stretch. And then down, flop down. Just let your body just flow down. Take a couple of deep breaths and notice with each breath out, your body's able to drop a little bit further, hands getting a little bit closer to the ground. So now what we're going to do is we're going to form a figure eight, a sideways figure eight, which is infinity symbol. So just move your arms around, making the infinity symbol. I want you to imagine as you're moving it across your body that you're surrounding yourself with infinity symbol, beautiful golden light, and you're encasing yourself in a cocoon made up from the infinity symbol going through and around your body. What we're doing here is we're creating a protective boundary around and through your body. We're creating a shield for energy. And the intention of this shield which we're setting is to protect us from unwanted energies, so the bias from people around us that aren't healthy for us. It keeps this boundary, this light shield, and bounce away so we don't get drained from their uncomfortable negative energy. Reaching up. You just imagine a light coming down from the sky, any colour you wish, pouring down over and around your body. And just imagine being aware of the outer edge of that. And our intention is to make that outer edge our protective barrier, keeping us safe from all unwanted energy. Preventing people from taking our good, healthy energy from us and taking on other people's problems. Two, six, seven, nine, eight, eight, six, five, three, five, five, five times infinity. Imagine being surrounded by that beautiful light. And I believe it's also helpful at this point to ask God, your angels or the universe, to protect you and guide you in ways that are in your highest interest. The next move is the I am move. One hand goes up facing the sky. The other hand, your right hand, goes down facing the ground. And our intention here is to connect our universal heaven energy, our creative energy, with logical grounding energy in the ground, and we're balancing ourselves between heaven and earth. 
we look straight ahead and say, I am the I am. I want you to think of something that you are grateful for. Name a place you are grateful for. Name a person you were grateful for. Gratitude feels good, doesn't it? This is me. I am grateful and I am feeling better every day. Repeat again. This is me. I am grateful and I am feeling better every day. That's right. Our next move is zip up. So we take from our base chakra and we pull up a central line to our lips and we make, at this point, we say in affirmations, I am feeling better. I am feeling better every day. So we do that two or three times. The next move is we put one finger in our belly button one finger on our third eye between our eyebrows, and we pull up. And as we pull up, we breathe in. This is linking our central meridian. It's helping connect our brain and gut communication so we're able to understand and communicate with ourselves better. So we breathe in. And again. One last one. And that's it. Thank you for joining me. Now it's recommended to do this routine every single day to help you feel better, think better, and be better. If you'd like more information on help how we can help you with chronic pain and stress, please contact us through our website www.nextgen-wellness.com.au or look us up on Facebook. Look out for our red butterfly icon. Have a wonderful day, everybody.